My project is mainly research, uh, mainly field work based on the south coast of New South Wales, but I'll be doing a lot of experiments in the field and in the lab. So pretty much that. There's some coursework involved where we need to learn skills, which could be stats or um, dive related courses and all sorts of workshops like that. There are opportunities to do all sorts of things from um, modelling to in the sort of computer modelling of uh, habitats and stuff like that and all the way down to different areas of biology. In terms of other disciplines there are interesting opportunities such as with the Clipperton project that are trying to integrate arts and sciences and education and stuff so there are opportunities for that. It tends to be extracurricular though. Uh, there's all sorts of opportunities to collaborate with other labs that are doing similar work um, overseas. In my case that could be in Canada or the US um, working on top predators. If you're in the right place at the right time there are opportunities to join expeditions such as some of my friends that went to Antarctica and um, do things that might be alongside your project. So definitely a lot of opportunities to go overseas, particularly with conferences to present your work, but also if you are lucky enough to, to join another trip. The same thing as working overseas, if you set up a collaboration with another lab, uh, it's sort of like an internship really, or work experience. Um, it might be ex similar to what you are doing or, or different. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of diet analysis of seals. Uh, I'm going to be working with a lab in Western Australia and going there quite a lot in Perth um, and that kind of stuff. Um, if I'm interested in something else that might be different to what I'm actually studying, let's say a different system, um, you know, maybe coral reefs or something, I can set up um, a lab visit somewhere and try and do some work elsewhere. The expectations are obviously to get a job in marine science, either working for government or private agencies, so marine parks or marine research stations. I knew what I was getting into. It's a very self-led environment. You do your own work, you are your own boss. You're on a salary too, so it's kind of almost bordering that grey area between actual work rather than just study. The one thing that was um, different was, I guess, getting an appreciation for the time frame in which things get done, getting your supervisors to sign off on stuff and getting permits for work and that's the only thing I've had to adjust to is being a bit more patient and working along much bigger time frames, that's, that's all really. But there are jobs and um, you just have to really keep an eye out for those different ones. It could be in government or in marine parks or in universities or all over the place. But there's work, you just have to be pretty crafty and, and onto it, I guess.